here with head coach Susan Yao following tonight's 55 to 48 loss to Benedict. Uh, coach, not the result you wanted, but it was the first game for you at Queens and also the first game in the Levine Center. Um, can you just tell me, you just, you just left the team in the locker room, just some overall thoughts as you uh, kind of 10 minutes after the game going through your head? Wow. Well, you know, you're very, we're, we're, we're all disappointed and um, you, know, you hate to lose that, lose that home opener. Mm -hmm. um, and particularly in the Levine Center and it being the first game ever for for you know all of us to play in the Levine Center. So, um, you know, I just really, uh, I knew it was going to be a tough game um, for us and, and where we are right now. And uh, it was just, you know, you look at the, the stats and really game was, there was a lot of similarities in the stats, obviously, except mm -hmm. for uh, one area and it was free throws. Yeah. And they outscored us 13 points on the free throw line. And they got to the free throw line and we didn't get to the free throw line. And that was, uh, um, there's a lot of ways to win basketball games, but that's a darn good way to try to win basketball games is to get to the free throw line. So, you know, that that was a disappointment. Uh, we did some good things. Uh, you know, Nikki, I thought, did a really, you know, was, did a really nice job the night starting and, mm -hmm. and playing as well as she did. I thought Mikhail, um, did a really good job coming off the bench as a freshman and playing her first game ever collegiately. I thought she had a good showing. Uh, a lot of times, you know, that will happen initially because you're you're just so focused. And uh, but she has done really well in practice for. So I, I thought she had a very good game. I, I don't think it was a great outing for um, uh, Tia Hud Hudgens, who's mm -hmm. normal. I just don't think she had her normal game tonight. And. Uh, you know, Shawnee was a little off, but she came down, came really, came on strong towards the end. Um, I thought Micah did a really good job at the point over, you know, overall. I mean, I, I think that there were some really good things. We I thought Lacey did a great job coming off the bench. Uh, we just didn't do the things that we need to do. Uh, we struggled offensively. We struggled to score, and we struggled to look where to score. Yeah. And so uh, I think that's something that as coaches we have to really look at and analyze and try to get back on track and try to help them um, uh, do a better job, and it might be changing a few things, tweaking a few things. Uh, but I think offensively, I think defensively, I mean, we held the team to 55 points. Yeah. So I don't think that defense was our issue tonight, other than offense, other than keeping them off the boards initially. But I think that uh, we've got to do a better job on the um, uh, in our offensive end, and we've got to find a way to, to clean that up and, and, the, and the instill some confidence in them. Absolutely. One name you mentioned was Nakia, and that's Nakia Squire. Uh, can you talk a little bit about her speed and what it brings to the game? She was your points leader with 16, and she certainly ha is one of the fastest girls in the conference, and we'll see it in track season when she runs the 100 and she, her times match out there. No question. I mean, she it's, it's incredible speed, yeah. and it's really hard to uh, – um, it would be hard to simulate that in a practice, mm -hmm. you know, when someone was preparing for us. I mean, um, she does a really good job, and I think that she's getting better at being under control when she has that when she using utilizing her speed. Because a lot of time you have that type of speed and you can't really control it. But I think she's getting better with that, and um, you know, I. But there's no question that's a that's a gift, mm -hmm. and it's something that I'm glad she's on our side and not on the opponent's side. To tell you the truth. Absolutely. Now Saturday you head down to Converse play uh, against an old rival. Um, what will be some things you'll be looking to fine tune in practice? Some things you're looking to really capitalize on? We've got to find a way to help our players feel a lot better about their offensive end of the floor, have a little more confidence on the offensive end of the floor, knowing where we can look for scores. Mm -hmm. And uh, I think we got to work a little hard on the offensive end. You know, I, I was worried about whether how hard we'd work on the defensive end. I thought we did a really good job with that tonight. Overall, it's, it's new. It's a new system. And not well, everything's new, yeah. but I felt like we could have worked a lot harder on the offensive end, and and uh, a lot of that I might can, you know attribute to um, them just not really understanding it mm -hmm. and not feeling comfortable with it because I know that they uh, they want to do well, and so we do play someone that we're familiar with. They're a completely different team. Mm -hmm. They brought in almost a, an entire new. Uh, they brought in about eight new players. We've seen them play. Um, they're just a much, much improved team. So uh, we need to uh, we need to get in the next 48 hours. We need to put this game behind us. Mm -hmm. uh, one good thing about this is that we can get on the practice floor tomorrow and think about Converse. So you you, yeah. you quickly put it behind you and you move forward. And uh, I think uh, uh, you know it'll be a uh, another good test for us. And. Uh, I think our girls will bounce back. I don't doubt that. I think they will bounce back, and I think they're eager to, to, to get better. Absolutely. Well, appreciate it so much. I know it's not the result you're looking for, but I'm sure some wins are coming. we got complete faith in your coach, Al. And for the game Saturday, you can check for updates, results, and all the stats on queensathletics.com. Thanks, Coach.